people often request that I make another video about how to introduce yourself in English, but they never make it clear what they want me to explain. 99% of the time, when we introduce ourselves to someone, we just say, Hi, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. Usually, we only give other details if someone asks for them or if they are the topic of a conversation. I think what people really want to know is not how to introduce themselves, but how to talk about their life and their experiences. So today, I'm going to talk about myself, so that you can pay attention to the language that I use, take some notes, and then hopefully create some of your own sentences using that language. And if there's anything that I don't mention in this video and you would like me to explain, please feel free to let me know and I will be happy to help you. My first name is Michael, but I go by Mike. Please call me Mike. If you are learning English with me and you are not comfortable calling me Mike, then you can call me Teacher Mike or just Teacher. I'm 32 years old, but I'm turning 33 on the 21st of this month. I'm from the United States, I was born in Maryland, and I lived there until I turned 22 and moved to Thailand. I graduated from St. Mary's College of Maryland with a bachelor's degree in political science and a minor in women's studies. Before becoming an English teacher, I also took a course to get certified to teach English as a second language. Again, I moved to Thailand when I was 22, just a few months after graduating from college. I had done some volunteer work and some traveling in Thailand when I was 16 and then again when I was 17, so I had always known that I wanted to go back there. I had never really wanted to be an English teacher, but becoming an English teacher was the easiest way to get a visa and stay in Thailand long term. So I started working full time at a language center for adults located in Bangkok, and I found that I really enjoyed teaching. For four years, I taught about six to eight one hour lessons per day five days per week, and also did a lot of private and corporate tutoring on my days off. My students were from all over the world, but probably about 70% of them were from either Thailand or Japan, and again, all of them were adults. Eventually, I got promoted to education manager, and in that position, I was responsible for hiring and training new teachers as well as developing new learning material for the Language Center and collaborating with the sales and marketing teams. After about one year as education manager, I decided to take another position at a different language center. I worked at that language center for about one year, but eventually left and found a new position as the English quality manager at a five-star hotel. As the English quality manager, I was responsible for the English and overall communication skills of the hotel's 450 staff. I designed custom courses for each of the hotel's departments, such as housekeeping, front office, security, food and beverage, and engineering. This is also when I first started posting videos on Facebook. That's why none of my early videos are edited, it's just one shot of me talking very slowly. I wasn't trying to be a YouTuber or make fun videos that many people would want to watch. I was just a teacher and a manager talking about stuff that I thought would be useful for my staff for five minutes every morning before starting my shift. I loved working at the hotel, however, COVID-19 hit Thailand's tourism sector very hard, and after two years of working there, I was looking for a new position. I was lucky to very quickly find a new position as a communication coach. 
I worked with employees from large Japanese companies, training them not in English, but in the communication skills that they need to work on international teams and communicate with international customers. I did that for about one year before my wife and I decided to move to the United States. There were several reasons why we decided to move to the United States, and one of those was that I would be able to spend more time creating videos for Teacher Mike. My wife and I have been married for about six years, and she is from Thailand, so in the future you might see me taking trips back to Thailand to visit family. I speak Thai as a second language, and obviously my first language is English. In high school, I also studied Latin for two years, Spanish for two years, and Japanese for half a year. So I can also speak a tiny bit of Japanese and a tiny bit of Spanish. Most of my time is spent creating new videos for Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, but I also have a few hobbies. In my free time, I enjoy cooking, reading, lifting weights, and playing with my parents' two dogs. Because I like cooking and I like to eat healthy, I usually cook three meals per day. I usually make breakfast and lunch for myself, and then dinner for my parents and my wife. Although I like reading, I don't read fiction books. I mostly just read when there's something that I want to learn, so I read a lot about cooking, fitness, language, etc. For exercise, I usually lift weights five to six days per week and try to walk my parents' dogs at least one time per day. As an adult, I haven't had many opportunities to travel to other countries, so the only countries that I have been to in the last 12 years are the United States, Thailand, and Laos. Now, if you would like to, Please go ahead and try to use some of my examples to create your own sentences about yourself.